Welcome to America Today. Your number one source of reliable and verified news, and in-depth features on the daily happenings around America. Brandy and Wanye Morris of Boys to Men had a passionate, secret romance in the middle of the 90s. However, despite the fact that their relationship began on a positive note, lies, deception, and a complicated love triangle ultimately led to a less than ideal ending, also slipping in the fact that Brandy was definitely underage for the bigger part of their relationship, and that it ultimately ended Adinya's music career. 1994 was indeed a year of firsts for Brandy. Not only did she release her debut album Brandy, that became so successful, selling over 6 million copies worldwide, but she also allegedly fell in love for the very first time. But who was the lucky man? At just 15 years old, Brandy had allegedly already developed strong feelings for boys to men's Wanye Morris, six years her senior, after he invited her to be the opening act on the group's 1995 national tour. Though she was allegedly initially hesitant to express her feelings for him, the actress-musician eventually drew up the courage to tell Morris how she felt, sparking off the relationship that would eventually rip her heart open, when another woman allegedly came into the picture. Years later, although the relationship long ended, some unsavory gossip about the former couple has persisted, with the main focus being of the fact that Morris had engaged in an intimate relationship with Brandy when she was still a minor. This would later force Morris to come forward in his own defense, in an attempt to put those rumors to rest, despite Brandy's vivid confession on a 2012 episode of VH1's Behind the Music show. Morris held an Instagram live where he addressed the details of the relationship, including allegations that he dated Brandy when she was underage. Brandy and I were friends in the beginning, he explained, stressing that they were actually introduced to each other by Brandy's own mother. Her mother reached out to me as well as my manager reached out to Brandy because Brandy was a big fan of mine. I was like, wow, that's amazing, because this young lady was pretty cool. Morris went on to explain that Brandy became a sort of protege of his, and that he was actually the one who introduced her to the individuals who would bring the show Moesha to fruition. He did reveal that at the time, he and Brandy were really close, but allegedly not intimate. Morris struggled to clarify that nothing happened between them until Brandy was of age, and they began spending more time together, forcing an inevitable bond to develop. Once she turned of age, we have been hanging around each other so much that there came to be some sort of connection. An intimate connection. We actually fell in love, he asserted. He insinuated in a way, that their intimacy was birthed from being around each other a lot as though to explain the heartache he caused Brandy when her later moved on to another woman altogether. He however reveals him and Brandy could have made some wrong decisions along the way, blaming it on their young age at the time. Now, we were young. That's what happens. You're young and you fall in love. Especially when you have the ability to be around somebody a lot. You begin to know things about them. And they know things about you. He continued, now when you're young, you make decisions based on your youth. You don't make decisions, moral decisions that put you in a whole position where you know that this is what's going to be for the rest of your life. You're learning through everything. And Brandy and I learned through a lot. As earlier mentioned however, Brandy's side of the story largely puts Morris's narrative and timelines to question. She places her confession of love at a time when she was still 15 years old, and according to her timelines, she must have been 16 at best, when the pair got involved in an intimate relationship. But that's the least of Brandy's regrets in that relationship. Her biggest is allegedly the fact that she felt completely hurt, being dropped for another woman. Brandy confessed that although when she confessed her love to Morris, he was quick to acknowledge the existence of mutual feelings, they would have to keep their intense relationship a secret to keep their romance hidden from prying eyes, allegedly due to Brandy's budding career. I just told him that I loved him and thanked him for making me feel the way I felt because I had never felt that way before, she recalled during the 2012 episode of VH1's Behind the Music. He was just like, wow. And the relationship took a transition, and we became a couple. I was on a high. It was love. 
It was real love. But immediately, everything was about my career. What are you teaching young girls? Do they fall in love at such a young age? Is that wrong? Is that a sin? It just made me feel like I was all by myself and that whatever I'm feeling personally is going to have to be put to the side. She confessed. Why Brandy would go on to have these unanswered questions in her head if she had been of age, one can only wonder. Besides, what would keep a couple of age from opening up about their relationship publicly? It's alleged that just one month shy of her 19th birthday, Morris called it quits from Brandy due to him falling in love with someone else. It is also alleged that Morris has actually been seeing that someone, months before he broke it off with Brandy. Talk of wanting to eat your cake and still have it. Brandy has always confessed that since Morris was allegedly her first love, she was deeply devastated by the breakup and recalled feeling crushed when he'd left her. He fell in love with someone else. The worst feeling is to be in love all by yourself. It felt like somebody had completely taken my heart out of my body and just crushed it. That other woman happened to be no other than Adinya. While Morris was still dating Brandy, he began hanging out with singer Adinya Howard, who rose to fame in the mid-90s with her debut album, Do You Wanna Ride? And her debut single, Freak Like Me. He probably preferred a freak like her. Ha! Huh? During a 2019 appearance on TV One's Unsung, Adinya revealed that she and the Grammy winner had a thing going on while she was working on her second album, Welcome to Fantasy Island. The relationship eventually sparked an alleged feud between her and Brandy, who were both signed to Atlantic Records at the time, causing drama in the workplace. Two young ladies, a lot of their egos get in the way, and we were kind of going through it about a guy, Adinya recalled. The love triangle eventually reached the ears of label executive Sylvia Rohn, who reportedly told Adinya to focus on her music and not Morris, seemingly taking Brandy's side. But in an interview with Wendy Williams, Adinya allegedly shared some inappropriate claims about Rohn and Brandy which did not sit well with the label executive, forcing her to pull the plug on Adinya. This greatly hurt Adinya's efforts at a successful music career after she struggled to work with other record labels forcing her to lose the spark she had earlier lit on the world scene. That's all we had for you in this feature. Please let us know in the comment section below, whether you feel that it was wrong for Sylvia Rode to get involved in personal issues of her artist, resultantly ruining one's career. We thank you in advance for your views, opinions, and genuine feedback. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss any of our upcoming features.